Welcome back to more Croc. And now we're Chumley in the Snow boss. Den. I love that this guy is the most ridiculous of all the bosses because you got this weird like snow guy, and what does he do? Just give him a little rocket. Excuse me. There, Excuse now me. you got like a boss. Jetpack. Hey. Uh... <laughs> so that guy's dead now, right? <laughs> no, we okay, can fly. so. Just to finish it off, boys, back to the uh, instruction manual, chapter... Let me count the chapters. That's one, two, This instruction three, manual has chapters, all right? Like... Chap chapter the fifth, in which Croc realizes his calling. Baron Dante has taken over all of Gobo Valley. He uses magical powers throughout the land, turning good creatures to evil. Ladybirds, ducks, lizards, fish, and mountain goats all become horrific monsters under his command. Baron Dante stats gobos on the Dantini guard throughout his new kingdom, so that if he needed someone to talk to even bring the tears, a cute little gobo would always be nearby. <laughs> Baron Dante is a fucking piece of shit, he man. Feasts, uh, he, he's an internet troll. He he's feasts a, off of <laughs> tears. He's a I've visionary. Never... That's, that's some maximum mass suffering, dude. I, I, I have never wanted a video game villain to die painfully more than this. Jerk off. The Gobos, meantime, being a highly social group, were distraught at being separated from each other. Baron Dante kept King Rufus as a personal pet, locked in the cage in the back of the castle. Rufus was taunted day and night by Dantinus. He consoled himself in his dreadful hours that at least Croc was out of the Baron's reach. Meantime, Croc and Beanie the Bird watched as their homeland was turned into Dante's playground. Beanie told Croc that he must act, but Croc was confused. What could he do against the might of Baron Dante? Beanie grabbed him by the straps of his backpack and shook him with all of her little bird strength. You're the only chance they have! You must help! Can you imagine what it's like for a gobo to be all alone? Croc sniffed. He could very easily imagine what it was like, and he felt more alone than he ever had before. Straightening himself up, he said to Beanie, Alright, but I'm gonna need your help. Now this, this is a bit I really like. This boss is fucking ridiculous. This is, this is so great. I, I think Steven, uh, Stefan, do you have to stomp him or can you, can you just, just tail swipe him? Uh, you have to stomp, but I actually think you don't have to stomp on him. I think you can just stomp right beside him and that still counts. This boss is shit. The, um, so the final bit of, of the menu, it's something, it's something I really How the hell like is he that... supposed to hurt you? That's what I'm <laughs> thinking. Like, what is his hurting thing? Because there's punching. Oh, he he. His attack is dropping like on you. His attack is dropping on you. Yeah. So the last bit wow. of, of the last bit of the uh, manual is the last center to something I actually really enjoy. I think I think it's pretty. It's a pretty charming way to end this instruction manual. It says here the legend becomes fuzzy. Historians are unsure as to whether Croc was actually successful in saving his friends. Oh. But one thing is for certain: from that point on. He became the greatest champion the Gobbles had ever had. I that's like why... that. I like that ending to the manual. It's really, it's really sweet. Wow. That's that's why it's the legend of the Gobbles because there's a whole split timeline in everything where Croc succeeds and when Croc <laughs> fails. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Yep. Yeah, it all comes together. So, so this, so this so becomes the hero of Croc. Hey. No, he becomes the hero of the Gobbles. Then he becomes the hero of what's? Does it ever say the the island? The archipelago's name? Uh, let me have a look. We're just gonna keep dropping that word as often well, as we can. Well, the world's it's like, is there, it's the grass. Because it confuses me. Stop it, guys. The world, the worlds are, there's grass world, it's grass world, uh, ice world, uh, desert world, and castle world. The, the only name I could find, they refer to it, uh, it, it may just be like the area of the first level. But Gobo Valley is the only name I could so, find. So like you have the hero land. of the Gobos, the hero of Gobo Valley, the hero uh, uh, of the uh, Nasdaq. Stefan, that was your fault. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you dealing with wind in this level? No, just slip One minute, no, 37 seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also a dog here for some reason. You oh, that, that's not a dog, that's a pit bull. <laughs> hey. Well, that's straight up a fucking pit bull. Pit bulls are pit dogs. Bull, pit bulls are still dogs. They're dogs. They're some of the best, most lovable. 
And Stefan killed it. Let's kill him, Maxi. Oh, no. Also, that, as you can hear in levels, if you spend in a part of a level for too long, then the music just stops, so you just hear the wind. Don't try to distract me. I've had my assassination plan as Stefan planned for years. <laughs> no, remember, the Somebody enemy, call the, the assassination respawn. classroom. He's not dead. He's just only half dead. See, I'm See? The they just respawned game. again. No, that that's not the same one. That there's no respawning in this world. That's just a, a new one being teleported because Dante found out you killed this fucking dog. He's just saying, hey, that that crocodile killed my dog. Dog number uh, Four. forty-seven. Go kill that he crocodile. Has, he doesn't care about the dogs either. I, they're, I, they're all disposable to him. I, I'm honestly surprised that uh, for a game where the creators put enough thought in to come up with at least three joke name character for their main character and at least four like time periods and holidays that they would just name their levels like jungle world or Ice world. like I, I i highly like i don't know i just don't it doesn't seem right i bet you that each of these areas have really funny convoluted names that just exude charm and things well, like they, that well the level like, the, the areas like the level titles are all like super like really f dumb, funny names. Yeah, I mean they've only. I I don't want to draw the comparisons, but again, it's just it's they're sort of just in this whole genre. But like the level names are kind of crash esque as well, just sort of like little quips. Mm. For a Tomb level. Raider. No, no, no. What was it? Uh, do uh, Dune Raider. Yeah, Dune Raider was one yeah. was one level I think in Crash Three. Oh no, no, Tomb Waiter. That's what Waiter. It was. Tomb yeah. Waiter. Uh, I snow him so well. <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrible! I love it. See, like it's it's they're they're kind of just like that. They're kind of terrible, and I love them. These are I these don't... are the best kind of terrible. These are the type of puns <laughs> yes. even. Te no, no. See, here's the thing. These are the best puns ever because they're the type of puns that would make even Ted groan. <laughs> All the more any pun that can t be used to torture Ted is perfect. You know, uh, Daisy, just just because. Um... You know, I haven't played it, Mexi ain't played it, Stefan ain't played it, and I'm not sure if any of our future guests will have. Do you want to maybe take a few minutes to talk about the differences this and, and, and Croc 2 have? Well, so Croc 2 kind of actually went for more of an open world Zelda RPG type of thing. Like, the coins aren't don't work like sonic rings anymore they work like act their actual currency for pete's shop who's pete i have no idea who he's supposed to be but he's the owner of the shop uh they have zelda type items you have a goddamn hearts for your life uh you have um uh you know you with uh gems you buy currency and upgrades uh was it like they're supposed to be like a um was it like you have lifesavers, which are basically consumable power-ups? Um, well, no, no. There's uh, you have general power-ups, which you need for certain uh, levels. It's very, yeah. It's very. It, it goes from sort of, uh, I guess, Gex style level platformer or crash to like open, almost Zelda like, uh, Zelda Mario sixty four like. Um, Makes sense, makes sense. Um, is, is it still tank controls? Uh, oof, haven't played it forever. I want to say yes. I think. Are, yes, yes. Are, um, are the gobbles, are the gobbles still in the game? Yes, but they talk. <gasps> turly, turly, turly. Turly, turly, turly. Turly, turly, turly. What blasphemy is this? Enjoy oh, hearing I'm that sorry. on it on loop because that's l l the mumble speak for the gobos. It's totally, 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 totally. So do you do you have to save them in every level again? Is, is uh, I think it's one in every level. There's one in the cage. Essentially, there's uh now they're in cages and I believe they're the end objective. I if I remember correctly. Oh god. Gotcha. I haven't played Croc. So I haven't played Croc two since. Like ten years, I want to say. Does is, is Baron Dante dependent again, or is it someone else? Yes. Spoilers. He uh, the wow. he gets killed by a baby. He gets killed by this <laughs> baby. The uh, remember when I said the opening of Croc Two is one of the scariest things I uh in my uh when I was a kid. 
Yeah. The opening is a gobo scientist or an, a tinkerer we're closing up his garage, right? And he's just walking home one day, and it's playing the the ever so loving, uh, joyful uh, croc theme, like playing off of the radio, like uh, the radio from Portal 2. Um, so it's just playing the theme, and then all of a sudden it stops as he's walking on his way home. He turns around to see an ominous red glow, and you see the Dantinis performing a satanic ritual to resurrect the Baron. <laughs> and all of a sudden, and as he's rising out of this fiery pit, he's, it, it's like the scariest music, the, like the most unfit, like out of place, ominous as hell music just starts playing as he rises out of this fiery pit of flames. Stefan, Stefan, I, I hate to do this to you. But insert that now. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and, I, I've I've seen I've seen Kid Icarus's video on Croc Do, so I know about all this. And, I haven't I haven't watched that. So please, please splice over that in. <laughs> and he just turns over to the side as the Gabo scientist is backing away and running for his fucking life, and then it fades to black. Well, for sure. I mean, as a scientist, he now has to accept the fact that there is in fact an afterlife, and apparently it's the Christian afterlife, complete with the, the devil. <laughs> Back oh, off, but, man, um, scientist. But, but, uh, <laughs> and oh, yeah, then... Oh, tweet me and everything. And you want tonal whiplash <laughs> right after it fades to black. You see Croc playing volleyball on the beach with the gobos. It, it's, it's, I mean, it's the most satanic sport of all. But, um... It's just basic symbolism well, here, dude. But, um, but... Uh, so some, when some of these guys the are basically just devils anyway. So when they're at the beach, they find a message in a bottle... Uh, yes, with yes, a message that, that ties into the that ties into the police, we know. Yes. Uh, it's a message in. Well, no, it's a message in a bottle, and the the only identify the like only signature on the note is a footprint that resembles Croc, Crocs. So, the objective of the game is. Uh, oh, and the essentially once you find the note, you're catapulted off into a distant island, thinking that's where the note came from. And it, you're basically just rescuing gobos that were apparently also on that island that were kidnapped by Dante when he re got resurrected. And they, apparently they, uh, the they, king still has no idea that he's back. See, but all gobos. the while you're all the while you're trying to find your parents. There, there's gobos on all the islands, but due to actual physical barriers between the islands, each gobo population. Uh, evolved differently into more specialized traits. So Mexi, it, it, I know I said quite, you're supposed to be smart ass rather way. than smart, but trying to warp your uh, trying to bullshit excuses is my job. <laughs> the, 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 this game should have had like they should have had like names for each of the gobos. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing. Uh, no, I think they Cutscene. do. I think at least every gobo that you talk to has a name well, in Croc Two, but I mean like in Croc One, like it should have been like it should have been like Spy it should have been like uh, Spyro uh, yeah, Spyro One and Spyro Three. Oh, you want? Uh, if, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, gushing about the music, the most somewhat one of the best themes in Croc Two is also one of the least fitting. It's it's in one of the mini games where you're basically jet ski racing, and also, for some reason, it it actually does control better than the jet ski in Crash 3 almost five years earlier. Um, but uh, but the, the music that plays during the jet ski race is like stripped straight out of some James Bond level soundtrack. It's so good. Like, I'll link it to you after we finish this. It's... Uh... Croc 2, it's... It... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have a lot of... I'm in tears, I, dude. I'm in literal uh, fucking tears. I don't know. I don't have as many memories with Croc 2 as I do with Croc 1, but the few memories I do are just... Croc 2 was a time. It was a time. Like, it, it, so, I, it's definitely a fun time. I like I, I, And I do have to give credit to the left. Was it the time? <laughs> oh, long, here, 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 here's time. the most easy... Here, here's the hardest uh, mission to do. I there, know, it's uh, over. Also, the, oh, the way that the go-go's look, if you, uh, you know, just turn them 
red. They kind of look like Plock, which is a, a SNES platformer. It's uh, kind of like a precursor to Rayman. So again, everything just all kind of ties together. So Plock was just some dude could, who could throw his limbs at the enemies. But Say no snow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the Gobo, at least in their uh, artwork, because this is one of those games where they superimpose the artwork on the game. It just You can tell the where what they were trying to go for but just the graphical limitations hold them back so they're just not quite there but you know it's yeah. what creates part of the charm here yeah yeah like um the like uh, to i don't have as many memories with croc 2 as i have with croc 1 but the few memories i do have is we're enjoyable time it's definitely an enjoyable game it's just don't expect it to be just because it's croc 2 don't expect it to be like croc 1 Oh, I thought you were about to say just because it's Croc 2, don't expect to enjoy it. It's like, wow. It's... <laughs> no, it's, it, it's enjoyable. Seen, everything I've seen of Croc 2 just makes it look eh. Yeah, it, it's like if you enjoyed Croc 1, you will you may or may not enjoy Croc 2 just for completely different reasons. Oh, okay. I don't know. It, it, it's you. definitely a, your mileage may vary. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed oh, it fair enough, geez. but then again, I enjoy more the adventure styles sort are of like Mario 64, Zelda type, rather than like straight linear levels. But then levels. again, you that's. But then again, you enjoy FTCR, so your taste clearly means nothing. Do I enjoy FTCR or do I enjoy the folks of FTCR? Same thing. <laughs> Is the, oh. Does it really matter? <laughs> You know what, it's Stefan. Yes, How there is, is a that, difference. That walking a, in a straight line to get all of those gems was like the most difficult thing that it seemed to be. I know, right? <laughs> like walking in a straight line should not be difficult in a platformer. Like. <laughs> Uh, tank controls. It still cracks me up just how limiting they appear to be, really. What, the tank controls? Yeah, just <laughs> so funny of not being able to walk in that straight line. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I think a, a good a good uh, comparison I have is that I think gameplay wise, I would say something like Gex Two is probably better than Croc, but in terms of like aesthetically and just kind of charm and enjoyment, I'd probably say Croc is uh, superior yeah. to. Gex and actually, 2. now that I think about it, honestly, I would honestly say the tank controls actually helped Croc Two in terms of level design a bit more because I I feel the adventure. Uh, aspect of it allowed allowed for more broad and less punishing level design. Oh, hey, it's my favorite part. It's Croc doesn't know how to jump on a platform. What the hell? Is it? Is is it? It's the fun. Is it Croc doesn't know, or the person controlling Croc can't do it very well? It can be both. See what he doesn't <laughs> realize is that this is the next episode of my favorite. Stefan can't get on the platform. On episode like it's, it's all about pointing and being like, you gotta go on the side. You know what? I, at, at least, at least Croc can pull himself up. Like, like there are, there are a lot of uh, that, that. That that was bullshit. That wasn't my fault. There are there are a lot of uh, mascot platformers that don't know how to pull themselves. up. <coughs> Billy Hatcher. Hey, don't don't banjo knock in on the, the first egg. Banjo. You, you 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 respect that egg. Right. This is a good. No. This is Look, a good man. Morning. I hated trying to jump on fucking ledges. In this is a I'm good just morning. That fucking Discord call. Have you know? <laughs> Bex, Brady Hatch is not a good game. No, I said it. It is not. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm <laughs> yeah, so hurt. To cry. I'm gonna go. Oh. I'm gonna go cry. Um. It's it's okay to admit that Sonic Team doesn't make good games. It's okay, we do it all. The oh, time. I do it all the fucking yeah. time. I know, right? Have Sonic Team ever made a good game? Trick question. The answer is no. I Samba Day. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> the best nice. game they made. And nice I'm was still good. Waiting for the next one. Like I'm, I'll buy whatever fucking Maraca peripheral you want me to make. Like fuck, the the Switch controllers literally have like motion control just. Do it, Sega, you fucking cowards! <laughs> Make a new Samba de Amigo! <laughs> I'm curious. Why, why does the Wiimotes I... control worse than the uh, the actual Dreamcast? Uh, like, the, the Wiimotes the, for Samba yeah, de Amigo the on Wii Dreamcast control Maracas? worse than the Dreamcast ones. 
because the oh, wow, Dreamcast that really really? were the pinnacle of peripheral technology that has been lost to us to the sands of time. No, 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 so I'm no. Curious. The, I'm the, curious. The pinnacle was the keyboard. Well, oh no! What was no, the, uh... it was clearly the keyboard. Uh, oh, you want the keyboard controller. that was only ever used for a PSO2? And House of the Dead over no, no House Typing of the Dead. Typing of the Dead was Dreamcast game. Yeah. But no type, no, the dead no, so I'm curious, what exactly was the first game where Sonic Team was officially Sonic Team? Sonic. Uh, so Sonic One. Oh really? I thought uh they were formed afterwards. Like I thought like it was like Sonic One was a Sega game, and then they uh the P uh the team that made it kind of made their own no, team. No, because um if you look at the if I'm remembering correctly, if you boot up Sonic One, it'll say what? Sonic Team presents. Yeah, that's oh. right. Okay. Huh, then never mind. <laughs> nice damage boost, dude. Oh, uh, they, they, they think this one's also an easy one that I think I get hit in anyway. God damn it, Stefan. Because I'm, I'm trying to look, I think that, because I keep thinking that there's going to be something in the pipes, but then there turns it's out not to be. Because it's always jelly! It's always No, no not always. Jelly. No, sometimes there's something in it. Yeah, jelly. Yeah, because there, there was one secret in the first level. So you can't. And there's like. That's how they get you. That's always how they get you. Wow. And I think there's like at least three more times in the game where you have to go inside of a pipe. I just, I just love the noise he makes, man. Are you able to kill those guys? No, I, maybe, but I've never uh, been able to. We ain't gonna risk it. We ain't gonna risk Pretty it. Pretty sure you can tail swipe them. Hi! Yippee! What's it? And that's oh. that's all she wrote. This, that's this little, this little alligator is pretty, or crocodile, whatever. It's pretty happy considering that his entire adoptive species kidnapped. Like, uh, I wouldn't be him. that you happy if everyone I know and love got kidnapped and imprisoned in cages. Maxi, Croc would have only ate them all once he became a teenager anyway. So who cares? Uh, <laughs> he's happy because this is just a game about him gathering lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, we, we don't we don't see oh. we don't see where they go. <laughs> they go back they home. Go belly. Do uh, they? Wanna, wanna, dun, dun, dun. So at this point, thank you so much for joining us, DC. No problem. Uh, and uh, we'll be having a another uh, Patreon guest in the uh, next four parts. So look forward to that whenever this is being uploaded, because we don't know. And depending on when this gets uploaded, you either may next see me or have already seen me in the next Patreon podcast. Hey, uh, Adrian, just, oh, sorry, DC, buddy, do you want to uh, let me, I know I should have done this in part one, but let people know where they can find you. If they, they've enjoyed you in the, in the LP and they want to see you more, do you want to plug any type of stuff you have? Sure. Uh, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash DC Dungeon Master. Uh, I'm a game designer that plays games and uh, has sometimes has informative com commentary when I play my games. Uh, and I also do a uh, the uh, regular podcast with my buddy Fonz uh, with uh, the D uh, the Dungeon Crawl podcast. And I upload videos once every. Three centuries on my YouTube channel, DC Dungeon Ooh, Master. Yeah, teach that... us how to get ours that fast. Yeah, man, Jesus Christ, teach us, Senpai. <laughs> oh. Um, but yeah, so catch me on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, all under DC Dungeon Master. And yeah, look forward to talking with everyone again next time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, bud, and we'll see everyone on part five. <laughs>